What is going on you guys? It is that time again for another player error project. This time we're going to be doing Mr. Kellen Winslow, the longtime great tight end for the San Diego Chargers. Air Croyel with Dan Fouts, Charlie Joyner, high powered offense back in the day. Um, he is a very, very tough TTM. I haven't been able to send to him in probably f three or four years just because I have not found a good address. About four or five years ago, I found an address for him in San Diego, and I got him back about that quick. But since then, I haven't been able to double dip on that address, and I haven't seen anybody get him in the mail in that whole time span. But literally 30 minutes ago, a friend of mine, Michael, which I don't know if Michael watches my videos, got um, Kellen Winslow in the mail. And he sent it to me. He was like, hey, I'm pretty sure you've gotten this guy multiple times, blah, blah, blah. Um, I know it's not a big return, but I thought you would like to see it. And I just about flipped out. I was like, are you kidding me? I have been trying to do a player error on him for a long, long time, but I haven't found a good address. So he gave me the address. It is in a state that I had, I would have never guessed. I probably could have guessed 20 states and I wouldn't have guessed that one. Um, so I'm very, very hyped, very, very jacked. Um, I want to get this video and the freaking showing the cards video off as soon as I can so I can get in the truck and go to the post office before they close in two hours. So that is that. Super freaking jacked. It's not all the time that a player era project comes along with one that you don't expect. Um, I was prepared, so luckily... I had that going in my favor, um, and I probably sound like a babbling idiot because I am truly super excited about this one. Um, so let's get to the cards. Here we go. We're going to kick things off with his 1981 Tops rookie card. We're going to try to double dip on him um, just because I had a couple of these sitting around the house. Moving on down the line to the 82 and 83. I always like these sticker cards, these 83 top stickers. And the 84, 85, and 86 tops, I always love those designs. Of course, these 85s are so finicky um, for edge damage and all that because it's <laughs> might as well be a solid black card. <laughs> Never been a big fan of this particular design. Um, some people love them. And moving on down to this little guy, which, no, this is not player era. Um, but it's a very, very cool card. I do have a pretty large infatuation with the refractor shinage. And even though this is not a refractor, it's numbered to 150 and really, really cool. Um, but this is probably more of the speed you're used to me going to right here. These stickers, I think, are absolutely stunning. And moving back on down here, you'll see our donation, our case, what we're going to ask to inscribe. So that is that. Let's hope these things come back. I hadn't seen a TTM return from him other than the one I talked about in my intro in a long, long time. So wish me luck. I'm probably going to need it. The Kellen Winslow cards are back, and it was nowhere near as easy as that intro made it out to be. Um, I thought my buddy Michael sent me that address, drove to the post office, and boom, I thought they were just going to appear back in my mail um, a couple weeks later. And that could be further from the case. Um, so here's the story and then we will get to the cards. Um, so I have now been living in Central California for actually exactly 10 months now. And that video was done a couple months before. Heck, it had to have been three or four months before I left Virginia Beach because um, I normally don't send out TTMs two months before I leave. So let's just say a year to a year and two months ago, I sent off this Kellen Winslow um, to a hot address. I thought it was going to be popping off, and I never heard back from uh, Mr. Winslow. The address um, return stopped coming in, so on and so forth, and I just thought I lost it. I thought that was my third player era that I've lost. My very, very first one was um, Gary Zimmerman. Never heard back from him. 
And then like my seventh or eighth one was Howie Long and never heard back from him. And both of those were good addresses for me at the time. And I thought Kellen Winslow was the third. So, um, kind of babbling on, but there's a story behind all this. Um, about a month ago, so September 2021, um, I started seeing Kellen Winslow returns, Kellen Winslow Senior returns in different TTM groups. And a lot of my guys that I communicate with through social media started sending them to me via PMs. Like, hey man, did you see these are coming back? These are coming back. And I'm like, man, like, am I going to send another player error project? I'm like, this sucks, dude. So I was like, I'm going to test the water. So I sent out a, just a regular two card $20 request. And returns kept coming from four other people. And so one day I got in a priority mail package. Um, I didn't say who it was from. It had a return address, but it didn't say the sender's name. Um, and I opened it and it was like a stack of mail. And I immediately seen it was Kel Kellen Winslow. And I was like, I bet you that dude had my player error project and probably found one or two other requests that I sent and probably got pissed off because he seen I was double or triple or quadruple, whatever it was, dipping and probably got pissed and just sent it all back to me like, hey, you've been caught, idiot. Couldn't be further from the truth. Um, as I started going through all the mail, dude, I had um, self-addressed envelopes from Virginia Beach, two of them. Um, I had the one that I sent from here and I think that was it. I think it was only three. Well, anyways, he wrote me a note that said that he signed my cards and he mailed them to Virginia Beach and they got returned to sender. And he was hoping that I would send another request so he could forward these cards. And he's like, I've been holding them here, um, hoping you would send again. How freaking cool is that, dude? Um, absolutely insane. So um, he signed a ton of cards. Um, and what's kind of interesting is the player era project. And I probably should have watched the video where I went through the cards before this. But, oh man, what card was it? The 1987 tops wasn't in the player error run so i don't know if i sent it to him or didn't send it to him so but we'll get to that we'll get to that in a minute so here are a couple rookies signed freaking phenomenally but easy for me to sec i'll just go ahead and scratch the phenomenally word making shit up over here <laughs> uh second year i mean these things are just signed so, so, so nice. Um, that Sharpie really, really took to these cards. It's 85. And the, the 1985 Tops football is just not one of my favorite sets, man, at all. And I'll tell you, this is kind of a side story. But when I put them in a page, I want to put them like this. Where, where am I here? Where this side faces out. Well, when you do that and you flip the page, the, all the cards are upside down. So if you do that, or you're not OCD like me, you have to have the cards facing the, the ream of the binder for the cards to be the correct side when you flip the page. This drives me bananas. But let's get back to the cards. And then this was the card that I was telling you that it wasn't in the in the stack of cards. And there was doubles and triples in there um, for my other returns. But the 87, I had to trade a guy. I traded a fella in one of the groups. Uh, it's not really showing up very well. There we go. I had to trade a fella one of my doubles that I had. Um, so... But hey, that completed the run. That completed the player error run. So you got to do what you got to do. Um, it's in black, not blue. But hey, 
another player error run down. Absolutely love these top sticker cards. They're so cool. And then this is like a, what is this? Panini Classics, I call it Refractor or Silver, um, numbered to 175. Uh, you gonna show up there, little buddy? No? There we go, kinda, you can kinda see it there. Really, really cool card. Really not my speed for a player era, and I don't even remember if I sent this card or not, to be honest with you. Uh, but really cool. And then I sent this in the player era, and this was the only card that came out kind of um, with the signature kind of damaged. Uh, you can see there in the 80. But it's not one of the... It's a player era card, but it wasn't one of the base cards. So I'll keep it, and it's a win, and I don't need to send to Mr. Kellen Winslow um, anymore. Super happy to have this particular player era project back. Um, what a freaking story, man. Like, what are the odds I would get these back? That he would have sent them to Virginia Beach, that they would have returned to Cinder and sent it back to him, and that he would have held them, hoping that I write, would um, write him again. So absolutely insane. Sorry for the longer player era project, but this was just a cool story that I felt like I had to explain. Till next time. Adios. Be safe. Bye-bye. Toodles.